going to change it to the PXE. Yeah, because we pretty can't much. be MXP. <laughs> right. Pretty much. That's a, that sounds about right. I like that. We should bring that back. Anybody that knows what that is. Or no, it was MXC. Oh. MXC, yeah. MXC. I don't what know about that? that, but yeah. one time I bought these tickets to the MXPX concert. I was so drunk, I thought I was buying no effects tickets. And it comes out to be MXPX. <laughs> what? I'm like, this is not what I paid for. Oh my god. I was so pissed. What the fuck? I thought I thought it was a no effects concert. Did and you I still go to the show? Fuck no, I gave that shit away. I was so pissed when I sobered up the next day and realized I bought tickets to MXPX. I'm what sure the you, fuck is that? I'm sure you guys remember MXC. It was like the Asian uh, game show that had the two oh, dudes yes. dressed as samurais. Yes, and they had all the people they do the, Oh, the most extreme challenge. Yes. Yes. See, and they yeah. dubbed over everything. Most, and yeah, so you gotta you gotta you gotta provide you gotta provide context, name. bro. You gotta it, provide I mean, context. It, Cause this little uh this little doohickey right here. <laughs> oh. This little this little uh this little uh, uh what what are we gonna call this here? This little uh, Devil's lettuce. Yeah, there yeah. you go, the devil's lettuce. This little whatnot right here will fuck your whole memory up. That's bro. right. What it's throwback back week. week. What did they call so, it back in the day? Reefer. Reefer mad. Reefer mad. Back, back, when, back when weeds was grass. Uh, back when pots was reefers. And, and, and chronic illegal. masturbator. And illegal. And it was mad illegal back then. <laughs> back, to, uh, back then, he's, oh, he was smoking dope. Yeah. You, know, you, you say that now, and people just look at you crazy. <laughs> I mean, oh, really, oh, though, like, oh, another my, my little boy, my homeboy, <laughs> little Josh, rest in peace, got, got fucking, like... Sent to rehab for fucking a dub, like good <laughs> dub, my guy. Talk about a waste of fucking tax dollars, Jesus. <laughs> Luckily for you guys, this don't come out of your tax dollars, so you feel free to enjoy comes all the out power of his dollars. Of it comes directly out of my fucking pocket. It, was, <laughs> it is what it is. It wasn't a waste of tax dollars because you know how many girls that he fucked out of that rehab. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. Shout out to the fucking homie, the legend, R.I.P. So, in true throwback if fashion, if you're not bleeding, you're okay. Yeah. There you go. If you're not bleeding, you're okay. Rub some dirt on it. Straight up throwback. So we got we got throwback jerseys. We got fucking shout out to the throwback homies that ain't here no more. Shout out to all of them. There's too many of them. Lots of wonderful pictures you guys can see yes, throughout the week. Exactly. Leak. Make sure you check Throwbacks out the rest of shit. our episodes. The the beer of the week, if it is there, and uh, chop block. Mm-hmm. It'll be there. Whiskey Willie. Yes. Woo. Stay tuned he for Whiskey Willie. He didn't have a throwback because he's only been like three episodes in, but. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> throwback to three weeks ago. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throwback to three throwback weeks to ago. Three we started ago. the fucking segment. <laughs> Just like a rerun. But we, we, brought it all the way, we brought it all the way back because I have brought the OG, triple OG, OG, OG throwback. I personally have not smoked this fucking strain in over. 15 years. Woo! Damn. This, my friends, is the strawberry cough. Woo! -hoo. Yes. Dang. My favorite. And uh, if our if our uh, illustrious co-host was here and not at home pooping out of his mouth and pissing out of his ass, <laughs> then he would be the one to tell you that the strawberry cough was originated in Sonoma, California, because we actually know the motherfucker who originated the strawberry cough. Nice. That's awesome. Which is why it is so hard to fucking find because whenever he went away, everything that he had went away with him. And I found a lady who knows him, who got it, who got it, who got it, and now I got it. So, and this throwback that you got right here. Yep. On fucking throwback week. Now you guys Hence need to find fucking... out where the COVID cough came from and settle that shit. No, nah, we'll just settle up with the strawberry cough here. <laughs> so, this is the best kind of coffee. Strawberry cough originated in Sonoma, fucking California, around, I want to say about 2001, 2002 was when it was first cultivated. And it was actually crossbred. Hold on, because it smelled so good, I had to hit it. Mm, it looks good from over here. I'm like, I fucking love it. I've this, had the oil of the strawberry cough. This so is I my know. absolute favorite fucking powwow of all time. 
I've, I've said that about OG and Sour Diesel. That is only because I was never able to find Strawberry Cough again. I after love my, how smooth it After is. my dude left, That's it went so away. Nice. So we had to find a new favorite. But that right there is the fucking super throwback motherfucking powwow. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It is a super potent <laughs> sativa. Why is it sparkling then? We got jokes. <laughs> So you can actually, if you Google it, it'll bring it up on Leafly or on Wikipedia. And it says here that it has mysterious genetic origins. (laughs) Well, (laughs) luckily your boy's in the know. And it comes from Sonoma, California. And it is a cross between haze and strawberry fields. And that is 100% fucking accurate. Because I know the guy who fucking made it. So. Mysterious genetic origins. Mysterious <laughs> genetic origins. That, that yeah. can be said about a lot of people on this podcast. Right? So. <laughs> my dad has never claimed me. He always blamed it on some other guy. I never, I never, <laughs> I never knew my father. <laughs> can you send that to Ancestry.com? <laughs> but yeah, I fucking love the strawberry cough. And just like its name says, it smells all fruity and strawberry-ish. Oh, it is. It does. It's smooth, Especially too. after you burn it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't have a necessarily fruity smell. Just the bud itself. Once you crack it open, you can get a little bit. Once you fire it up, that's when the fucking magic happens. It is fucking great, and it's sativa, so it's not gonna knock you out. It'll keep you nice and fucking nice and powwowed throughout the day. And yeah, kind of like a Ranier. When you crack it open, that's when exactly. all the magic happens. <laughs> exactly. Indeed. Exactly. Indeed. So yep, we had to roll that up in a regular flavored Swisher because it's throwback week. And back in the day, we didn't have all that extra flavored shit. Back in the day, we were buying blunts, two for ten dollars a piece, twenty bucks, from my boy. You know him. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you talking about you talking about pre roll? I was like, hold on, hold on, a second. we didn't pay no ten dollars for no blunts. We've not, no, uh, I'm, blunts I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking swishers. I no. don't think blunts, blunts. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're totally you right. selling the grand totally blunts, right. you know, back in the day for ten dollars. But we're not Cobra. gonna snitch on the homie like that, we're even though the statute of limitations man. has run it's out and it's a, a long time ago. <laughs> it still don't matter, bro. You're making me nervous. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, no one knows who Codeberg is. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heisenberg. Yeah, it's Heisenberg. <laughs> Heisenberg. You should just say Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg. That's it. Goldberg used to sell us you, blood for yeah. two. Then right? you with the jack two hammer. for ten. <laughs> know about it. it was like, pre- hey, I got the hookup. <laughs> he only had two strains, a spear and a jackhammer. Yes. <laughs> and his partner, Jeremiah. <laughs> yep. You go to his house to cop the bag, and you leave, and he walk outside. and go, who's next? Uh, and that's how you knew it was your time to walk in and score your bed, dude. You'd be like, who let off all these sparklers up in here? <laughs> right? Real shit. He had Pow Wow 171 days in a row, and then after that, he didn't have no mores. He came up against Kevin Nash. Yep. Yep. So, this week, we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to keep it mellow and low-key, and I fucking came across a story that really piqued my interest. And I kind of I kind of gave our uh, our good friend Whiskey Willie down there a preview of the fucking story from this week. But uh, shout out to all the parents out there. And Halloween just passed and all that stuff, and you're out with kids trick or treating. That's like one of that's the one of the most anxiety ridden holidays for oh, parents. Yeah. Am I right? Especially after with especially with especially with the little kids. kids. Yeah, I'm worrying about people putting weird shit in the candy and all that other shit. So I came across this story the other day. From uh, Spokane, Washington, right on the other side of the mountains. Uh, this, you know, this this story is probably going to make a couple people uncomfortable, but I found it very, very fucking interesting. <laughs> so, a gentleman by the name of John Eisenman Sr. John Eisenman, last year, uh, I think it was uh, October twenty second of twenty twenty. John Eisenman Sr. has a teenage daughter. That teenage daughter ended up with a boyfriend that John didn't think too fondly of. Which is a normal situation. Which is normal. Which Story is normal. You, you, you have to protect Story the little ones. I mean, you have a daughter. <laughs> so, I mean, you got you to protect them at all costs. Sometimes your gut is right. Watch out. Sometimes your gut is right. He might. So, John Eisenman's daughter came up missing. Come to find out, she was sold 
into a trafficking ring Holy shit. by her boyfriend. Oh. How much? Ooh. We didn't. We didn't find. We didn't find that out. That's not. A, that's not important. Yeah. It's, that's not important. No. It's kind of fucked up. It's, it's not important. I it's not important it because it's enough, fucked up. It's fucked up. It. So it John enough. Eisenman. Shortly after she came up missing, John Eisenman, being the hero and the amazing father that he is, went and retrieved his daughter. So shout out to you, sir. Yeah, absolutely. But that wasn't enough for John Eisenman, as it wouldn't be for any father. I know, me personally, I wouldn't be fucking satisfied with that. Nope. I'd, be, I'd be very thankful to, to get my child back unharmed, but I'd still have a little bit of a grudge. Some You've people. seen Taken. You know, so, you know yeah. what needs to happen. So John uh, tracked down this scumbag boyfriend, and John led him to a secluded location. <laughs> And John handcuffed this motherfucker. Which there's lots of spoken. And uh, threw him in the trunk of a car. And then John Eisenman took a cinder block and hit this motherfucker in the head with it. And then proceeded to stab him in the stomach until he was wow. deprived of motherfucking life. Damn. Then he slammed the trunk closed, drove the car out into a secluded area in eastern Spokane County, and left his motherfucking ass there. And that right there, my friends, is parental father justice. Shout out to John Eisenman Sr. He is facing charges for murder right now. And personally, I think you should let that yeah, man go absolutely. and uh, maybe bust him off with an extra stimulus check sure. on behalf of all fathers <laughs> extra everywhere. Stimulus, yeah. true, true American hero. True American you, hero. You Protect your car, fucking you children. You should have set the car on fire, sir. You might not be in jail right now. What yeah. needs to happen is uh, so, he needs so to the, be able to take out the people that purchased his daughter as well. Yeah. That yeah, too. But I mean, why, he, why stop he, he there? He might not be no Liam Neeson's. He might not be no Liam Neeson's, but he's a fucking hero in my eyes. But the United States government is yeah. way more Liam Neeson than anybody. No. And they should. They're, they're on the other step side. In. Unfortunately, they're yeah. the ones yeah. that are paying children. for all that. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. Yeah. Stupid, so, man. Yeah. It's, those are the people that should be standing behind us. Those are the people that should yep. be saying something. No, those are the people that are... Throwing down the money. Yeah. But see, and that's that's the fucking problem right there. And that's why John Eisenman Sr. is a fucking hero of mine personally, because you can't trust the fucking justice system to do right. Nope. Especially yeah. when it comes to your fucking kids. And I'll be damned if somebody fucking takes any fucking kind of action towards my children. You're gonna oh, be yeah. fucked up. So John Eisenman Sr., I salute you, sir. Hopefully you receive justice in being exonerated for the bullshit crime that yeah. they accused you of. Stand up yes. for the, for the Hats 95%. off to that man right there. On behalf of all fathers and grandfathers and everybody else across the fucking world, thank you, sir. I'm sorry, Salute I you thought for your this service. Was fucking America. Absolutely. Yeah. Eye for well, an eye. Like. They, in Texas, there was that case where the guy <laughs> who, had, who had killed the person who, I don't know, either killed or raped or did something to his child, mm -hmm. and he killed the person mm -hmm. and was in a court of law, went, went to jail, went mm -hmm. to court, and the judge was like, you're yeah. free to go, sir. Oh, it's an act of passion. That's the difference. Yeah. That's the difference between Washington state law and Texas state law. Yeah, get it together, y'all. Well, but, but even in Washington, like I feel like it, it could be if it's put in the right degree. The thing is, the act of passion is a lot different than just a normal action. Yeah. An act of passion, you don't have optimized real realization of what's yeah, going exactly. on. You exactly. know, you make it. You make it's, your choice. It's clouded judgment. Yeah, clouded judgment. You make a decision on the sperm of the moment, as they say. It, well, You're it, not in your right mind. You it's not even spur of the moment. You don't even have time to think. You just act. Exactly. Like, if somebody it's, did that, it's shit, an impulse I would just fucking, fucking reaction. Act, dude. It's exactly. Not, exactly. Yeah. Which is why I completely understand that situation. Yeah. 1, completely understand the situation. 1, you hurt. You hurt my child, and I will stop at no fucking. No yeah. end no, to I'm make sure that I might you have, might have thought for the first second when I threw the first punch, but every punch after that, I'm not thinking. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like exactly. I thought about it for a second. Nope. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nope. He yeah. acted on impulse when he yeah. handcuffed him and threw him in the trunk. Yeah. 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 He knew what the like, fuck. He had plenty of time to think when he drove out there. He's like, "Yep, I'm gonna hit this motherfucker with a cinder block." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stab the fuck no, out. No, it just no, happened you, to be in the hurt, trunk. You hurt my kid in an irreversible way. There, yeah. conscious decision or not. I'm, you're done for sure. You know, I, mean, I, will, I will go to prison. You want to? You want to? You want to know? You want to know? Happily, you want to know? You want to know, know a fucked up way to get at somebody? And I just found something else out. There's an animal in fucking Southeast Asia oh, oh, between oh. Bangladesh. Hold on, let me get this right. Between Bangladesh, Bangladesh. and Northeast India. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. It's called the Slow Loris, and we're going to throw a picture up on the green screen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. See. It is the, the cutest slow. fucking thing ever. It is. It is the cutest thing ever. It is mm-hmm. fucking deadly. Mm-hmm. It is one of the few toxic, poisonous mammals on the planet. It's a fucking lemur. It, it looks like a lemur. It's the uh-huh. lemur slash monkey thing. But it has bad gums and teeth. So. <laughs> I think it's like one of two. I think there's only two poisonous mammals. I think there's mammals. only like two, or three. Like the two or three poisonous the mammals. <laughs> yeah. So the cool thing about this fucking slow loris is it looks like a lemur. If you've seen Madagascar, King Julian, that's what a fucking lemur is. <laughs> yeah. So it moves super slow, deliberately, like a sloth. So that way it stays undetected. <laughs> Because it has plenty of it has plenty of natural predators, mainly humans and orangutans and snakes and shit like that. So when they sense danger, they completely freeze, and they tuck their heads and hide their faces. And he's like, "Oh, that's so cute. They're so I scared. Didn't see. Oh, they hide away. They're so scared." Nah, motherfucker, that's a plan. That's a, that's a ploy to fucking pull you in, because a slow loris <laughs> is poisonous. It licks its armpits, and the secretion from under their arms mixed with their saliva activates the fucking poison, and then huh. it bites the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. And people are like, oh, well, you know, how does it, is it like a snake bite? <laughs> no. It's like, Anybody here have allergies specifically to cats? No. no. Okay, I have cat allergies, mm. like really bad. The so the nose locks up. Eyes get all fucking red and bloodshot. Like, it's fucking horrible. Yeah. So think of your worst seasonal allergies times a thousand. Instant onset at a thousand. That's what happens when a slow loris bites you. (laughs) You can't see anything. You can't breathe. Stumbling all over. Eyes swell up. Throat swells up. Nasal passages swell up. Oh, man. Fucking horribleness. (laughs) They should have... He should have put that guy in a trunk with that. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Oh, snap. Lock him in a minivan with a slow loris. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like, turn, oh, look at this turn on some, thing. Turn on ah! some death metal. So all the fucking... <laughs> like that, you know, that, that animal has never heard a sound like that. It's going to freak it the fuck out. First thing, put on some guar and this fucking... Your soul is not in your soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That'd be the fucking worst awesome. way to go out. That guy's like, he's mm-hmm. fucking dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> he's dabbing their metal music. No, motherfucker, you about to get bit. Uh. So if you don't want to get bit by a slow loris, make sure you uh, set up a Patreon and donate to it and give us money so we can keep doing awesome podcasts like these. <laughs> this is great. All yeah. that's coming. Yeah. All that's coming. We're going to start doing all that shit. We'll, We're sl- gonna- we'll save you from the loris. <laughs> we will save you from the loris. The same way we saved you motherfuckers from the drop bears with a big ass motherfucking sign that says, Drop bears, no. <laughs> and slow lorises, no. And we're going to retrieve those signs from our fucking wonderful sponsor, our great friend Logan Harris over at Harris Sign Co. You can make sure and hit him up, harrissignco at gmail.com, bro. And then call him on the telephone and harass the fuck out of him and put your orders in 253 820 3002. Make sure to support local businesses. Give that man all your money because he does amazing fucking work, as you can see right here on our amazing fucking show. Why don't we get a sign that says pedophiles? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get a sign that says, if you touch my kid, I'll smash you in the head with a cinder block and stab you in the trunk of my car and leave you in Spokane County somewhere for a year, a calendar year, for nobody to find your body until it's all decomposed and stinking. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. Take you to Bangladesh. That's going to be the whole sign. Horse. That's a whole lot of print on the sign, Logan. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. It's a whole lot of work, but it's for One a good cause. It's, it's, gonna be it's, it's for fathers down. everywhere. Yeah, it'll be a really big sign. Yeah. Exactly. It'll be a huge ass sign. He can make a sign any fucking way, any, any size sign, any whatever you want to put on it. That man does amazing shit. He will yeah. wrap your car in that yeah. sign if you want him to, as long as you fucking you come with that bread, bro. It. <laughs> he made the Raider mobile for me back in the day. Yep. See, you already you know, know what's up. Mm-hmm. You already know what's up. And if you know what's up, you'll get your ass down to the fucking hippie house and make sure and cop all your fucking powwow needs. They're located down at 3109 6th <laughs> Avenue in Tacoma. Make sure when you go up in there, don't fucking touch nothing and put your mask on. Unless you're buying it. I mean, you can touch Titan if he lets you. No, nah, j- just just as a as a good safe policy, don't be touching shit. How about that? <laughs> you can't break the dog. Don't be, tu- don't be touching people. shit. Nah. If you ain't buying, don't be touching. All right. 
if you are buying, they have powwow fucking accessories and shit to meet every single budget from a dollar all the way up to whatever you want to fucking spend. So make sure and hit them up and let them know that the powwow and the AXE podcast sent you. They ain't going to give you shit for it. It is one of those cool little promo things because support is fucking free. Ha 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 ha. That's right. Yeah. But now you know where to get your fucking dope ass glass from. Yep. You know so where to get all your powwow needs in. from too. And if you need anything else, like in the realm of like, I don't know, comics or games or Funko Pops or any kind of nerd, nerd type entertainment, or maybe you want to in, <laughs> indulge in some. Apologize. Wash your fucking hands. Well, that was like the first ever sneeze on the AXE yeah. podcast. Vince, yeah. Vince like, McMahon just lost his first shit right ever. now. It was like, what did you just do? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I you apologize. You weak motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you sneeze into the comments? So I'm just going to go ahead and pass over him. Um, I apologize to Matt and Jesse for this disgusting motherfucker with all of his disgusting, slow loris fucking poisonous reaction allergies for stepping all over our amazing oh, plug. Dude, he's licking his armpits. You better watch out. He's fitting to bite your ass. He's going to bite me with that cactus jack tooth and fucking no, infect if I lick the it fuck in, out of me. I can, can, opener. Uh, I can spit it out. He's going like to spray mist venom. like fucking green Tajiri mist. and shit. Uh, great, great you're going to great mood your COVID all over me? I don't want that shit, bro. It's all your talk about allergies and all of a sudden. It's exactly. Up. Exactly. It's, <laughs> the, it's the wrath of the slow loris. <laughs> Must have been all the smoke leaking. in here. Yeah. Well, hey, the powwow is fucking cough. strong. Fuck damn hippies. The powwow is strong. Now, if we can get back to what I was saying, our oh, amazing yeah, yeah. friends down at Comics the Gathering, go for the comics, stay for the games, and the Funko Pops. Make sure you support local businesses. They are, they are fucking located down at 15022 Pacific Avenue in Tacoma. And once again, make sure and tell them that the Pow Wow and AXC podcast sent you. You will not get shit for free. And they just be like, oh, cool. We know those guys. But if you purchase, you need to purchase a T-shirt and a hoodie. One or the other. It's both. wintertime. Purchase a hoodie. Both. Buy them both. Whatever the fuck. But when you, do, when you do purchase, wear that shit to a convention. Take pictures of it. Tag them. Tag yourself. All that other shit. The next time you go into Comics Gathering, 20% off your next order. And that's a fact. So <laughs> that's a fact that matters. That is a fact that matters. Not all facts matter, but that one does. <laughs> no, actually, if you can actually pull this off, post a picture of yourself and don't tag yourself because I really like to know how you do that. You can tag yourself and shit. Post a picture and and not tag yourself it. Like not have yourself associated with it. Well, Facebook just dumped the uh, facial recognition, so it might might not tag you. Oh, did they really? Yeah. Okay. Well, but we're already. Yeah. We're yeah that's, that, that's a whole nother. There's that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother week. Like we're we fucking done here. <laughs> so until next time, this has been the fucking powwow, AXE podcast. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hashtag hashtag. Daniel, get well soon. Peace. Drop airs no. Yeah. Beat stop, no. Stop pooping, bro. <laughs> stop pooping, bro. <laughs> Hashtag stop pooping, bro. Shane on you. Shane on you. <laughs> yes! <laughs>